Richard writes in, how do we get rid of fret buzz? So on today's episode, we're gonna deal with fret buzz and how to get rid of it. Fret buzz! Eric's guitar. Eric's guitar, Eric's guitar, Eric's guitar, Eric's guitar, Eric's guitar, Eric's guitar, he fixes guitars for everybody in town. First position fret buzz is the worst. It'll make you not want to buy a good guitar. Buzz or lack of buzz on a guitar is from three factors. How much curvature there is in the neck, how high the string nut is, and how high the bridge saddle or bridge is. So what we're gonna do first on this guitar is put more curvature in the neck, put a fresh set of strings on, cut the nut down, and see where we're at from there. So let's go ahead and do that restring. Where is it? It's Fred Buzz! Of course you wanna loosen the strings before you cut them. You do not wanna cut them at full tension. Fred Buzz! Next we pull the bridge pins out of the guitar so we can get the string out. Of course, pull them off of the head. Who is it? It's Fred Buzz! Pull away! On this guitar, we're gonna install the Dario EXP strings, 11 to 52. It's a light string, easy to play, but still large enough to get the top to vibrate, push out some sound, and get a nice, rich tone out of the guitar. Fred Buzz! And on the rest of the guitar, let's polish it up. It's easier to do before we put the strings on. Make sure the bushings are nice and tight. To make the proper adjustments, we need to be up to full tension. Still, we have those dirty notes. Fred So the first thing we wanna do is relax the tension rod inside of the neck. We're gonna take pressure off of it, allowing the tension of the strings, which is about 125 pounds of pressure, to pull the neck up. We need a bow in the neck. When I hit that string, the rotation of the string needs to be followed by the curvature of the neck to get the cleanest note possible. Our truss rod nut on this guitar is inside of the guitar. Some guitars are adjustable at the headstock. But on this guitar, the nut is right here. This is the proper size wrench that we're gonna make that adjustment with. We're gonna get in here. Fred Bowles! And loosen it up very tight, which is good. We want that kind of pressure on that rod if we have a back bow. That means there's room to move. You get an idea of what kind of curvature we're putting in now. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna capo the first fret lightly without too much pressure. And what I wanna see is a gap between the string and the fret of about 11,000 seven inch. So I'm gonna fret at the 15th fret and check it at the seven. So we're holding the string down on the first fret and the 15th fret, and we're gonna check the gap at the seven. We're gonna check both sides. We could still use a little more curve in the neck. You can see that the string is pushing this feeler gauge a little bit. Fred Bowles! So we'll get in here and go just a little bit looser. That looks good. So, let's play it again. And we'll see how much cleaner the guitar is. Usually when you have a back bow, most of your buzz is in the first position, first four frets. Big difference. But we're not done yet. Who is it? It's UPS. Let's measure the height of the nut, and we're gonna do this by taking a feeler gauge. That's 21,007 inch. Eric's guitar. It's Fred Buzz! And we're gonna measure the gap between the string and the first fret. Fred Buzz! As I push through, everything so far is a little bit high. It's not that far off, so we're okay. But we are gonna cut that down to be exactly 21,007 inch. Each one of these is gauged for the thickness of the string that we are cutting down. The first string is an 11, so I'm gonna to wanna to use 12,007 inch. We're gonna pull the string aside. Cut it down slightly again. The nut height was very close, we're not that far off. This is also good because if the string is burred into the nut, we're gonna open the slots up and allow the string to pass through freely.
Our G is 22,007 inch. I've got a file that's 26. We're gonna bring it down just a little bit. Pull the string back into the groove. Test it, that's good. We're at 32,007 inch for our D string, so I'm gonna use a gauge, 36 file. Take a little material out, put it back in, check it. I'd like to go a little bit further. That looks good. We're at 42,000, as we get closer to the nut, the string is harder to move, it's harder to manipulate. So we're gonna detune the guitar a little bit. And lastly, we got a 52 on the bottom. We're gonna take a file that's 50 thousandths of an inch wide, but we're gonna rock it just a little bit to compensate for the extra 2 thousandths of an inch. Fred Bowles! Fred Bowles! Fred Bowles! Great, that looks good. Now, let's see how high the string is off of the 15th fret, and we'll make that adjustment from the bridge saddle. Right now, we're at about 564 of an inch. I would not suggest any lower than this. If you want to bring it up a little bit for a cleaner note, we can do that. Um, we have a pickup sandwiched between the bridge and the saddle. So if we're going to bring this up, what I'm going to do is pull the saddle out of the guitar. We're going to glue a small veneer of maple to the bottom of the saddle, reshape the saddle, and reseat it. At that time, we'll deburr the top of the saddle. The string, it's harder than the saddle, so we'll put slight notches in the, in the, top, of the, in the top of the saddle. So we'll go ahead and sand those out in the process of shimming it, reset it, and everything should be good. Here's a nice little trick. Go ahead and capo the first fret again before you take the strings off the guitar. That way they won't fly off of the head and get all tangled up. Remove the saddle. The pickup is now exposed. That's what this is here. So we need to keep a nice uniform flat surface in the bottom of the saddle. But we also need to get more height out of the saddle. So I'm going to go ahead and glue a piece of maple to the bottom of it. We'll cut it down, get it reseated, and we'll be good. We're going to bead a glue down the side of it. It's a very thin glue. It'll penetrate all the way through to the other side. Take a shot of accelerator to get that glue to dry quickly. Fred Bowles! Obviously, that's too big. It's not going to fit. We're going to cut it down. We'll clean up our edges with a razor blade. Who is it? It's Fred Buzz! So we'll reseat the pickup, reseat the saddle, and go ahead and get those strings back on. This is where it pays off to have that capo on there because it keeps all the strings nice and uniform. Once the strings are in the bridge, we'll pull the capo off and get it back up to pitch. Let's take a measurement of that action again. Off of the 15th fret, we'll see a gap of about 3 seconds of an inch on the bass side, and on the treble side, we're just under 3 seconds. That's a good action for someone who wants a cleaner note. Very clean note, very different from when we first started working on the guitar. And that's how we do it. Oh! The buzz has missed the beep.